Welcome to another segment of Remedies for the Remnant, a quick glimpse at the wonder of God's healing ways communicated through His Word in the spirit of prophecy. Have you ever wondered about the words found in Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 and 13, how they fit into the Christian experience? There it says, Wherefore, my beloved, as you've always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Consider this very important explanation uncovered in the book Acts of the Apostles, pages 482 and 483. The work of gaining salvation is one of co-partnership, a joint operation. There is to be cooperation between God and the repentant sinner. This is necessary for the formation of right principles in the character. Man is to make earnest efforts to overcome that which hinders him from attaining to perfection, but he's wholly dependent upon God for success. Human effort of itself is not sufficient. Without the aid of divine power, it avails nothing. God works and man works. Resistance of temptation must come from man who must draw his power from God. On the one side, there is infinite wisdom, compassion, and power. On the other, weakness, sinfulness, absolute helplessness. God wishes us to have the mastery over ourselves, but he cannot help us without our consent and our cooperation. The divine spirit works through the powers and faculties given to man. Of ourselves, we're not able to bring the purposes and desires and inclinations into harmony with the will of God. But if we are willing to be made willing, the Savior will accomplish this for us. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, unquote. I love that, don't you, from 2 Corinthians 10, 4 and 5. Friends, I am so grateful for our tender, compassionate, and help-filled Savior, whose name is Jesus Christ. How about you? Until next time, remember this. God's thoughts towards you are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an, an expected end. Guess what? The original beginning. Courage to you. Courage to you.